This is really exciting, isn't it? It's my first visit to an office, even more a meeting, and for the NAACP. You're right, especially if it's your first time. My name's Rosa, Rosa Park. What's your name? I'm Viola Desmond. Aren't you the woman that did the theater act five years ago? What brings you to the NAACP? Yes, that's me. I want to help make a difference in Canada's and America's organizations. What inspired you to do that? It must have taken a lot of courage. Well, I bought a ticket to a movie, and my seat was on the first level. The manager told me that I didn't have the ticket for it. I went back to the ticket booth, and they said that I couldn't sit there because I didn't pay the extra fees. I said I would pay, but they didn't care. I knew it was about my race, even though they didn't admit it. They called the police and left me there for the night. I went to court, and my lawyer, my own lawyer, decided to betray me as well. That must have made you feel really upset. Well, if it's okay with you, I might as well share my story on how I came here. You might find we're quite similar. Sure, go ahead. I sat in my section of the bus, the colored section. Soon the driver noticed that there were white people without seats standing in the aisle, and they tried to force me and three others out of my seat, like your story, because of my race. I understand completely. I know how that must have felt. I've heard about segregated buses. The other three agreed. However, this time I decided to take a stand. I said one simple word, no, and the driver thought I shouldn't have been allowed to do that, and they got arrested for it. After that, a lot of, after a lot of time and a lot of effort, I finally got out of that disarray and started the Montgomery bus boycott. I see. Your story is actually quite similar to mine. It's interesting how one word or one action can change the way society thinks. I agree. Isn't that what the NAACP is for? The meeting is about to begin. Please, everyone, take your seats.